Yep, this is my store. I'm excited. Also, to you guys, I have a mutant ape. I've got some land. I've got um, I got the ape coin airdrop. But Avalanche submits subnet proposal for ape coins DAO metaverse migration. So we all know when that whole other side land thing happened, it was an absolute nightmare. You first off, you had to KYC for it. Some people didn't do that, like myself. So I had to wait till later. But it clogged the network up so much. ETH was absolutely unusable. So now we're seeing a lot of very very big projects come to Board Ape Yacht Club, to Yuga Labs, and be like, hey, if you merge over and you work with us, we're going to give you this amount of money. And in this particular article, let's see what they say. I think that they want to go ahead and give approximately um, $290 million as an incentive program to support development costs, as well as technical expertise and marketing support. I also want to say that Matic Polygon offered something similar, but I think that the folks over at Yuga Labs, they are probably going to work with the company that's going to give them the most money and support. Jen, do you want to take this now? Or Zach? I'll go fight, super fight, quickly fight. and then Zach. Okay, okay, no, Zach, go, go. You seem really excited. I just want to, I just want to fact check. I just want to fact check us before the people arguing for decentralization theater get really mad at us. So Yuga Labs is not in charge of making this decision. Yuga Labs says, hey, Dow, we strongly encourage you to think about migrating chains so that the future of this project we strongly can encourage scale. you <laughs> so that i'm was just going to say that i'm just going to say that because <laughs> you don't want to say that yuga labs is doing this wendy you'll get some SCT. monkeys on your back you know what i like to i like Listen to cut to through this. the bs though i got to cut through I it i know you do but believe me i fought this fight <laughs> You have to say it precisely here, okay? Okay. Apecoin Dow is the one who is making this decision, not you, Labs. They got nothing to do with it. They have encouraged publicly that Apecoin Dow should be considering this. It is Apecoin Dow, all right? So I'm just, Zach, I'm at what point in your journalism out. career did you, did you think you'd come to this conversation? But it's let's, a, let's, let's, a let's, let's face it the facts here. When we're it's, it's a lot. When we're talking about DAOs, well, I guess we have to save. The, I should actually have you guys on my show and we can argue this because we're talking about DAOs. Are DAOs really fair? Is the community that's really a, in that's charge? That's a great question. That's a great question I for think, another day. Mm, that is a great question. I think if you looked into a lot, if, you, if someone went and looked into who's actually voting in a lot of these DAOs, I think we might find that they're are a few people making decisions and who have the have the right amount of tokens to make these decisions but yeah it's a conversation for another day all right jen i'm done with my spiel i totally interrupted you so you can go from here okay i have a question has ethereum almost become like the luxury chain like if you can afford to pay ethereum fees like you are at the top of the crypto game and i feel like that's where board ape yacht club is board ape yacht club owners can afford to pay these fees they were paying upwards of forty four thousand dollars in gas fees to mint land for for the other side project. And as I read through this article, there was a quote in there. It said, not all ape holders are in favor of this. The quote said, we should not move out of Ethereum ever. And this was the most liked comment um, on, on this proposal. And so I just, I have yet to see a lot of traction when it comes to other chains. And this to me is just similar to like branding. I feel like Ethereum is the brand for NFTs and I haven't seen any other chains that have built up that brand. And I wonder what it's gonna take because the fees are insane. The congestion is crazy, but maybe when they can fix that, people just wanna stay on Ethereum or go for one of the layer twos. I don't know, Zach, what do you think? I think it's a great point. I think it's like practicality versus prestige, right? You know, some of these chains are just like inarguably faster and cheaper to get things done, but they don't come with sort of the cachet that the Ethereum mainnet does. And the advantages of the Ethereum mainnet, again, being where the party is, where the people are. So it is a conversation that I think is going to unfold. You know, Avalanche is not the only suitor in this instance. Flow, uh, flow back. The, the, the builders of the Flow blockchain, Dapper Labs, have also been in touch with uh, members of, the, of this project, asking them maybe to consider this network instead. Um, but it is sort of, again, that sort of uh, philosophical tension, I think, between, again, prestige and pra practicality when it comes to making these things accessible and easy to folks, or do you want to be you know, where the critical mass is? And still, I think the critical mass in terms of NFT value is with Ethereum. So it's going to be interesting to see what the decision ultimately looks like and whether or not people vote with their tokens to migrate this to a different chain. I don't know, Wendy, what do you think? You might be plugged into the Discord. You might be seeing these conversations unfold. What's, what's the vibe? Yeah, tell us. 
I honestly feel that people that the board eight people, they're probably going to want to stay on Ethereum, like you said, because the the prestige and every, I feel like Ethereum is just like easier to use. Cause sometimes when you have to go over to a layer two, you have to do all this stuff. I don't know about you guys, but I get a, bit, a little bit lazy at times. I think that with board apes, all of this stuff, it will stay on Ethereum for quite some time, unless the DAO suggests otherwise. But I also kind of want to bring it back to the NFL story. I'm what do we know what chain that they're going to use when it launches? It's on the uh, mythical. I think there's the thing called like the mythical chain. I don't know on what technology that's based, but I think it's on okay. mythical's like in-house blockchain. So. I think it's going to be I think it's going to depend per project. Like everybody's talking about Soul Summer, those NFTs kicking off, and I think depending on what project or what network, when I say network, I'm not talking about a blockchain network, I'm talking about a network of actual in real life people, but it's going to we're going to have to see who's using what and doing what because I don't think that this NFL project, they're not going to be able to sustain on Ethereum with those costs because the average income of an NFL fan might not be able to afford those high Ethereum costs. But Zach, go ahead. Yeah, you know, it's the thing that we saw, I guess it was earlier this week, you know, with GameStop launching uh, on Loopring, right? That's an Ethereum scaling solution that makes those transactions much more manageable for, you know, smaller token holders. So I think there is um, a big time uh, awareness of the fact that for a lot of folks, the fees on Ethereum are prohibitive, right? If you didn't get in early on ETH and your sort of your, your cost basis for what you're spending in ETH terms on each transaction uh, adds up to quite a bit, um, there needs to be sort of another another room, another field for folks to play in. And I think that's what these projects are all trying to entertain. But Will, we got to give you the last word, man. You, you're spitting fire today. We got to give you the last word on this. Any other topic that you want to talk on? I'm just, I'm deferring to you before we wrap. Anything? Even anything. nothing with ApeCoin. Anything. 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 Whatever you want. Ooh. Wow. Anything. Zach has Ooh. never given that freedom to anyone. Ooh. One question. Does Sam bacon Afro regrow to its prior greatness in the next few months <laughs> as we enter into a bear market? Its prior Afro was great. It was great. Bear market Afro, 2018, 2020. But now it's, it it's yeah, Sam, like it's not doing great. Like we need to get some more conditioner in there. What do you think? Think it gets better? Do we do a maybe vote? He, who, maybe who thinks it gets gonna... better. I think it gets better. And there's more time maybe to I think more sleep. conditioning. The grooming sleeping. Or time. I know, but I mean, with all this politics now, it could get worse. It could be mm. short because Self-care. he's going to be running for I've president. I just bring that up because we talked about the beginning of the show with some bit on my mind. So I don't know. I think it's great. I think that <laughs> I, I'm, glad that, I'm glad that I'm glad that was good. That was good. We're going to start tracking this and we can do uh, regular updates to just, you know, track, track its growth. So that's good stuff. 